Welcome to Paradise and College Football Primetime presented by Miller Lite. We are at Aloha Stadium in Honolulu for Colorado Buffaloes and the Hawaii Warriors. And no surprise right away to see Hawaii go to the air, knocking around after a three yard gain is the H back, Billy Ray Stutzman. Watch out, a fumble right away, a big problem on the exchange. High pass, catch right of the 45, hit down immediately, and it's going to be ruled incomplete. Hanson cool in the pocket, but missed his receiver by about eight yards with that pass out of bounds. First time we see them on the ground, straight ahead for a couple of yards is Joey Iosefa. Colorado rushes five. Well, he's got plenty of room. And he'll get a first down and wisely runs out of bounds at the 39-yard line. He's got the edge if he wants it. And Brian Moniz doing more damage with his feet than with his arm right now. He knows where he's going, and they drew the penalty as well. And got it to rattle around. Shadows on the bench already here in Honolulu. The kickoff is fumbled by Arthur Jaffe, and he won't even make it. Maybe to the 10-yard line, so poor field position. Slip. Lost of about a yard. He was a tough player, and he's a tough coach. Stepping into the pocket at time. Hanson throws, and that was nearly intercepted at the 41-yard line by Richard Torres. Tunnel screen drops. Moniz, one and seven, in trouble. He's done it very well. Look out. I think he got down before he took the full hit. He'll let somebody else run it this time. Straight ahead. That's almost a play. Straight ahead dive. Pressure from the edge. Nice pass that time. Best looking throw for Moni so far. And tight roping down the sideline. Pocket collapsing. Moni stays calm. Gets it out to the 30 yard line for a four yard pickup. Moving his legs a little bit. And we quickly get back to action. There's a signature Hawaii play, but it'll be short of the first down by two. Here comes the pressure. Good timing. That's what you mean by timing right there. He's missing very badly at the beginning of the game. This time the pocket holds up, and he's got a wide open man on the far sideline. That'll be another first down. You can see they try to wrestle the ball away from Allen Sampson. That's floating. That's going to go way out of bounds. And Moniz, a little tricky ball work, able to make a nice fake that time. And Moniz again, burning with his legs. He will score! Be Brian Lockridge. And excellent kick coverage that they faced during the long. Nice stunt there by the Warriors, and now Hanson's going to take off. He got a couple of good blocks downfield. He'll be short of the first down by about four, though. Tight end, Ian in motion. He comes in the block. They send Stewart outside, and they send him into trouble. And he's in even worse trouble, and he's just going to have to go down. That's going to be a loss back to the 39 of about seven yards. Look out, that's incomplete. Pressure. Hanson being chased, and he will do the wise thing and just pitch it toward the sidelines over by the photographers. A little pressure from the edge. Moniz handles it calmly. Catch made by Alan Sampson. The weather forecast here is perfect. And that's going to be a first down, and the ability to hang on to the football there. There's the pressure. Nice job. And there's Moniz again. Just destroying Colorado with his running ability. That's not what's advertised when you think of Moniz. And there's an opportunity here for Hawaii to maybe get in the end zone. And inside the 15 out of the 
the 14. Billy Ray stops him. Option. Well, why not? Look at this. He's done it again. Well, the coaches who are going to go through this game tape, the future opponents for the Warriors are going to have something to worry about. That is a man. <laughs> All right, short kick here, and Colorado's going to have an opportunity as they avoid the long return, maybe for some decent field position, but right now it's turned into a Pier 6 brawl. Hansen, look out from behind, and let's see if they take a timeout or just let this half end. Sack made by Mayatonga. They go to Rodney Stewart, and great pursuit will leave him. And certainly paying off. Pocket collapsing. Hansen's down. Back at the 32-yard line. And there is Liko Satele. And we will see how Hawaii responds with Sampson on the kickoff return. And there's a hole. Sampson to the 40. And he will take it into Colorado territory. That is how you respond. Out in space. And see you doing a nice job. In the middle of the field, that's going to be a first down for UH Ostrowski. <laughs> Stepping up, Moniz. That's going to be underneath, and they get another first down. A lot of pressure. Boy, Colorado was all over. But look at this. Look at the footwork for Moniz as he gets inside the 15, tackled at the 13. That's a gain of six. Underneath, wide open. Inside the 10, first down. Straight ahead. A little footwork for the big fella there. And Iosefa. They fake Moniz. And why not? It's wide open. Three rushing touchdowns. To close out the season. Hanson in big trouble. He just he just disappeared. Swallowed up by a wave of warriors. Blitz. Stewart almost made a great catch. Now, is that considered a lateral or not? Hanson hanging in the pocket, and that is a miscommunication, it looks like. It's a lot of work. Good protection that time. Taking the deep shot for Richardson, and the pass all over the place. Wow. I don't think I have ever seen a coach call back-to-back -back timeouts for something like this. Timeout. Away. Look, this he is, is telling away. second. Charge timeout of the second half. This he is will making be a take a Now they go to Stewart on the ground, and the Hawaii defense penetrates and sends him back. Two touchdown catches tonight. He's closest to you. They go out to the other side, and immediately the hit is made. Out of bounds, incomplete. And then Colorado was down 17 again, 24 to 7. But they made that strip sack count for three. And Hawaii, a little struggle there for Edwards. And he does a pretty good job considering where he was fumbling around with the football. Timing in his spot near the 30 yard line. Solid hit, out of bounds. Catch made by Ostrowski. And they go to Stewart. Got a little bit of room and tripped over his own feet. It didn't work. Boy, what effort there. I see once again Falamalu 42 at the top of that pile. Well, Hansen got away but couldn't completely escape. Back to the five yard line. What a job by the Warriors on the D line. Vaughn Mayatonga put him down. That's the fourth sack. And does his job. Chance here for Harding. 
And he gets it into CU territory. And he just raves about Brian Moniz's ability as an athlete to do things that are special. Well, how about a special first down? They keep it on the ground. And now an opening there to the 25-yard line, shy of the first down. Third down and one coming up. First down. No problem. <laughs> he has. A little bit of trouble here being chased. That's a tough throw on the run. Knocked out of bounds at around the 17-yard line. There's that pressure again. A shovel pass. Beautifully done. And Hawaii will score. He may be built like a guard. But Iosefa goes 22 with his first catch of the season. Two near interceptions. This is a very short kickoff. And that's going to force a race by Brian Lockridge to the football. Now, he's got some pretty good speed, but he's just going to run out of room. And he's pushed out of bounds at around the 25-yard line. Empty backfield. Almost the catch. Go back to the run game. And just hurled the crown was Rodney Stewart. Pressure, Hanson, tough throw. Completely covered was Stewart. He wants interference. Hanson just wants to get up. Big pressure. Intercepted and a chance for a touchdown. Hawaii has blown it open. Art Laurel. After the interception, the runner was down at the one-yard line. There was then a illegal block in the back on the intercepting team. Hawaii will keep the ball first and ten at the 11-yard line. Hawaii is going back to a hot running back right now. And the big fella, Iosefa, only got a yard there, so it's going to be third down and five. Iosefa. And that'll go ahead. It looks like they want to settle for the field goal. He got the call from the special teams coach, Dick Homey, for this 22-yarder, and he has done his job. So the turnover, it was thought first to be a touchdown. That was taken off the board by replay and ultimately a penalty. And Hawaii gets three out of it, and they're back to that 17-point lead they've enjoyed now for the third time tonight. Find out what you got. This is Brian Lockridge. Again, running to that sideline that he seems to favor, and again, he runs out of room. Ooh, ooh, look out there. That's going to cost. Yep. Try to make it any way you can sometimes. Yeah. Well, let's face it, Colorado's position is not one that they're enjoying, and there is another sack. Jordan Hano Hano, that is five for this Warrior defense. Lots of pressure here. Hanson being chased from behind. Strip sack, and Hanson got it back. He got it back, but coming from absolutely nowhere in his world was Mike Sellers. Third down and 20. Hanson in trouble. He'll take the smart way out. Gets it to Rodney Stewart. Oh, what an open field tackle. Tank Hopkins. For the back row. He switched that. It was a gain of 8, 4, and 12. Hanson in trouble. He's got to get rid of the football. Three Warrior defenders put him down. Zach Bash lived up to his name. A presence on defense. And they were pretty tough last year. They were the top team in takeaways last year in the game and that's going to be a first down that'll be your ball game that'll do it Hawaii and Greg McMacken pick up the win at home wild second half in this game but it ends up being the same kind of lead that Hawaii had at halftime 17 a final score tonight Hawaii 34 and Colorado 17.